Hi guys, Emma is here. Welcome to Piano Well. It's been said tons of words and made lots of videos about an issue of making this magical great legato on the piano. So let's not talk about these issues today. Instead, I will just show you step by step how to make great cantabile legato. So all you need to do is just follow this video just like you would follow any instruction videos if you want to find out how to make something. So if you're ready, let's go! We're gonna work with one simple interval, GB. And first I will show you how to sing it correctly so you would feel legato and then how to imagine and convey your ideas on the instrument using the right way of playing. Sing the first note. While singing, imagine that you directed movement straight to the right. This way. My hand movement just represents what I'm doing with my voice because I know the camera is not really good to catch all the vibrations of the voice so you would see the picture clear. So, this movement. Uh, by the way, if we're gonna sing descending interval, we're gonna start singing from the top note and sing all the notes to the left. So let's come back to our exercise. After you sing, after you sing the first note, sing second note the same way. And repeat this exercise as much as you need to feel very clear and comfortable. Sing both notes with movement to the right. Sunday between notes. Sing this cassandra with feeling of resistance. This resistance feeling can be compared with the feeling when you have when you move your hands in the water against the water resistance. This is our perfect legato when one sound gradually flows into another sound. And all we need to do now is just bring some weight, imagine it, and then play it on the instrument. Sing this interval the same way using weight technique. How to achieve this feeling of weight I explained very detailed showing some special exercises in my video called intonation and arm weight technique. I put the link down below to this video. So it sounds this way. So without feeling of weight, I would sing it like this. With weight. This is your perfect legato. <laughs> Imagine absolutely the same way uh, this interval internally in your mind. You remember the voice, you remember glissando, and you remember resistance. And re repeat again as many times as it takes to feel very confident. Play separately two notes of this interval. You may use different fingers, one, three, or two, four. They are both comfortable and uncomfortable at the same time because the first finger is not really comfortable to start with, but the third finger is very stable. Second finger is good, but first finger is weak, so <laughs> you decide. I'm gonna start with second and first finger. So what you need to do, you need to relax your hand, completely relax bring it to the keyboard 
and play the very first note while playing you move your wrist straight to the right just like you would move sound in your imagination while moving your wrist make sure you don't move your elbow and you don't lift up your wrist at the very end you don't do like this play the second note the same way Repeat it as many times as it takes to feel comfortable. Play both notes on one single stroke of the wrist. Keep your hand relaxed and don't lift up your wrist at the end. Imagine again this interval in the, in the sound of your voice with grissando, with resistance. Then relax your hand, bring it to the keyboard and play this interval following the same wrist movement while imagining great grissando with resistance and sing it internally. Imagine again this interval and play it with the same technique, but now you gather the weight just like we did a little bit before when we sing with weight. Uh, so this is how it looks like. Again, without weight, it looks this way. With weight. You can feel the difference, right? <laughs> That's it! We perfectly got it ready to be applied in your new pieces. And I hope this video was very helpful and I see you in my next one. Bye bye! And now a little bonus for you guys, I will show you how to make articulation, staccato, tenuta and accent. So if we already know how to play correctly two notes, and how to intonate with weight two notes, now we can apply different variation of intonation because articulation is a simply different variant of singing the interval. Staccato is a way of singing when we intonate with resistance the first part of the distance between notes and second part we extremely speed up and make it very light. It sounds this way. If we play and intonate the same way, it sounds this way. And in this case, when you play staccato, you never would lift up your fingers too much or make some wrist staccato. You simply work with muscles inside your hand.
Because all your attention, all your intonation, over here. It's a variant of intonation when we bring more weight to the second part of the interval. Again, we intonate the first part with good resistance, and in the second part, we go deeper and deeper with weight. It sounds this way. Accent is a mix of staccato and tenuta in our intonation. When we sing with good resistance the first part of the interval and in the second part we speed up plus we apply more weight. It sounds a little bit like a dog barking. Mind you, every articulation we play with absolutely relaxed hands. <laughs> so, hope that was also very informative for you. And yeah, again, see you in my next video. Bye.